Hello YouTube, I wanted to show you my Cangage family, so to speak. This is the OLED version that I just finished for a customer in the United States. This is my light, so I can show you the carbon fiber. Uh, this customer wanted the matte side up on the carbon fiber. Uh, this is the head scan gauge, which has the shiny side up on the carbon fiber. And this is the V-Gauge Mini. Oh, I got the names right this time. And the V-Gauge Mini has a 10 new pixels. It's like the smaller brother of the 5 display V-Gauge. And uh, the first V-Gauge I had was with uh, still OLED displays and this one will be with the color display. And there's um, also one more difference between these two. This one uses still the Atmega uh, 328, oh, I'm talking, Atmega 328 and this one is using the Atmega 1284P. So on here I have plenty more storage space. Um, I think on this one I'm like at 30% uh, of flash and 11% uh, of SRAM. Uh, whereas on the 328 I'm maxed out with the flash. So I cannot add anything else to this code. But on this one I am working on uh, a couple more screens to add. I will show those as soon as I have them done. And um, yes, this is the OLED version. Uh, this is my high tech light, so I can show you the reflections. This is also matte, and this is the shiny side. It's uh, facing like it's straight up, so that's why it's not that reflected from here on to see and this one has the matte side up on the carbon fiber so these are the three can gauges that I currently have uh, this one you can buy um, in my Tindy store these two I still did not get around to put them up on Tindy but you can also order them directly from me um, if you do have any questions, please let me know. I have all three running on auto cycle right now, so it should by now probably uh, went through the cycles. This one has also limited space since it, it's the 328, so you can choose I think tw uh, 12 or 13 screens out of possible 16. Um, same goes over here, although here I have I have a few more screens than, than the OLED and uh, this one will get more screens as it goes along. This one also has Bluetooth capability and right now it does uh, transmit uh, any data you see on the screen uh, to your cell phone for example over Bluetooth. The other ones don't have Bluetooth obviously so this is the one that's the latest version and um, I put many videos up of these so you can check those out if you like I also have them uh, shown in the car the color display is very uh, easy to read during the day at sunlight and this one and this one have an LDR this one has it on the top and they have automatic screen dimming including neopixels of course and so you won't get blinded uh, at night because I know some people like it dark inside the car at night and turn the gauges uh, illumination down um, so these have auto, um, auto brightness and they all have auto cycle they can be switched between in parallel and metric, this is running metric, you see it's Celsius, degrees Celsius, and this one is uh, switched to uh, aerial, which shows the temperatures in Fahrenheit, speed, and miles per hour. And this one is also magic. Actually, I have these two in my car all the time, and I took them out today or tonight, so I can show you all three side by side. 
Um, this one is slightly bigger than the head scan gauge. The size for this one is chosen so it can fit into a GoPro session waterproof case. So since uh, the head gauge uh, does come in different versions as a clock, as a gear indicator, a spectrum analyzer, picture viewer, uh, GPS, did I mention clock? Clock will come. And I also have of course uh, these versions here that are not finished yet code wise. This is my two way remote. And um, I showed this also, and this is actually the receiver part for it, which also has canvas capabilities. I showed you all that, and I also have the. Um, no, I'm looking for my pointer thing here. The altimeter. Uh, okay, that was actually, and I still did not change the code. This was a test for the honeycomb uh, background that I wanted to use, and it's still. So I had it on, I think, nine seconds uh, delay, so I could check it out. So it will take nine seconds. Yeah, that was it. This is the beginning screen, and then this is the main screen. So this is that, this is all based on the same 1.3 inch 240 by 240 IPS color display with the ST7789 driver in case somebody is wondering. Here's another version that I tried with uh, the frame codes, uh, the frame backgrounds which I used on the GPS edited edit edited it blah, 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 blah. so here you can see it on the GPS and this one will take a little bit for to get reception and I showed this as well I will make this into this so you can have it on your keychain or lanyard or wherever you want to uh, carry it so this is I also wanted to show you this again because this one I showed you once and then not again I also have this um, backplate for uh, um, wrist red wrist watch strap watch strap so you can technically mount any of this if it's gonna be the GPS or clock or even the altimeter you could mount like this on here if you like to so these I have also anyway and I'm still working on the heads track that is not finished yet and uh, I also have a couple other PCBs coming out that I ordered uh, just last week and uh, half of them is done already so I am assuming that I will be able to get those beginning of next week and uh, yeah this is it um, if you do have any questions or comments or ideas please leave them in the comments and I will respond to them Thanks for watching and I wish everybody a great week and stay safe. Till later.